Um, uh, huge congratulations on the film. Especially thank you very much, mate. Cheers. Um, there's so much to to unpack, but I wanted to just take you back to when you first got the script for the first time. I can imagine it was exciting to get the script, but then to read it and digest just what it was about and what it was trying to do was yeah. quite, quite a fun afternoon for you. <laughs> yeah, it was, I mean, I remember getting a phone call from, um, I got the phone call from my agent and she was um, and she was telling me about what, uh, like, you know, she's like, I've got this script that's come in, you know, I'd love you to read it. And she sort of gave me the premise of it. And I sort of had these mixed feelings of thinking it was absolutely, sounded absolutely mental. And I was like really, really intrigued by it at the same time. Um, so yeah, as soon as she sent it through, I, I started reading it. I started reading it almost immediately, um, and then you know, as as you know, I, I think even probably three pages in, I knew that I wasn't going to put it down until I'd, I'd read it every single page back to front. You know, I was immediately drawn to it. So I was, um, yeah. And then uh, I remember giving her a call straight back as soon as I'd read it. She was like, "You read it already?" I was like, "Yeah, I couldn't actually put it down." So I just, I just loved the way it was, loved the, like the, di- the use of dialogue and. It felt like a world I knew quite well as well with, um, you know, coming from a a hairdressing family. So, yeah, I was very, very excited. Yeah, I was going to ask, I mean, that's that's strange because I know my brother-in-law is a a hairdresser. I know that's quite a, it's a very unique world to be in regardless. But then you add all this stuff on on top of it. Is it, it, was it fun to kind of step into that? And obviously given the fact that you you mentioned that you had some family. Yeah, it was, it was fun. It was fun to step step into it. I mean, it was, I didn't really know what to expect because I knew, I I knew sort of like the premise of the film was going to be after I'd spoken to Tom before we, you know, actually we actually started filming or anything. Um, You know, I had a a Zoom with Tom Hardiman, our director, and he was very much, uh, he was sort of like telling me the, the like the style in which he wanted to shoot it and make it sort of one continuous shot to keep you in in the film and and, and all that sort of stuff. So um, after speaking to him, I, I sort of I didn't quite know what he what he you know how we were going to sort of shoot it. Like I didn't know if it was going to be one continuous. Obviously, we rehearsed it in different parts, but having the joy of rehearsing rehearsing for like four or five weeks before we actually started filming was was a real joy. I remember uh, obviously you said about the the one the one take quote unquote, quote unquote. obviously I remember seeing something like Birdman that, that did it and it's kind of a it's a very meticulous thing but actually for actors it's kind of more comfortable than it realizes because if you do say a play you're live you're in front of an audience for two hours yeah. and everything else so I can imagine it was a little bit more comfortable and less of a of a stretch if you like yeah it's daunting that it might it might realize to, to audiences to do something like that yeah i mean there's definitely a lot to think about i mean just sort of conventionally you know shooting a tv shooting a tv show or, or a film you you know like they say you know you get the you get the 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 sort of the safety net of being able to go again for another take if you if you mess up or whatever but with shooting the way we did obviously these long sort of sweeping takes that lasted you know 10 20 minutes at a time some of them um, you felt like you just really needed to be on it the whole time. You couldn't really drop concentration. It sort of helped, allowed us to sort of stay in the character as well. Um, and, you know, there's a lot of uh, a lot of hiding behind walls and waiting for your cue and waiting for the camera to pass you so you could go and get into position somewhere else in the set. You know, it was, um, yeah, to navigate all of that was, uh, it was fun. But like I said, with, with the rehearsal time that we had, it sort of made it all a little bit more manageable. And I have to, I have to talk about, uh, it's because it's your releasing through movie and some of the great things about the movie releases and, and this film in particular, it's very hard to put into a box as in there's a lot going on. There's a lot to unpack. There's a lot of yeah. things that people won't be expecting, will be expecting and a lot of things yeah. in between. For you as a, as an actor, I guess that's the kind of thing you, you, you hope to do one day, that you do something that doesn't necessarily conform to things and is very, very different and keeps the audience guessing all the way through. Yeah, totally. I mean, I think I think this was one of the um, one of the the conversations that I had with Tom when I when I first received the offer to 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 be in it, um, and I, I think we were talking about I can't remember exactly what we said, but we we mentioned about it not being not being one particular genre. You can't really place it. It's like dark comedy, murder mystery, you know, sort of like all these different sort of genres that it fits into. So it was, yeah. I mean, it's you know obviously with art anyway it's all subjective so but to have something that isn't sort of one particular narrative or one particular genre or one particular theme I think it just like you know allows to you know allows the audience to sort of spread their like widen their imagination on what on what the on what the, what the film is in in general you know yeah it must have been great as well to go to work every day with this this ensemble of of actors because everybody is almost like perfect for the role that they're playing and they're all sort of actors that people might not know too much about you know there's things to discover there it must be great to go to work every day like you say doing the things that you're doing in the film you must have become quite a unique kind of hairdressing trambly shall we say yeah we did I mean we all um it was one of those things because we 
you know, where where our where our accommodations were it was like very close to the 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 set itself. And obviously we taken over the whole of the guild hall. So and you know the majority of the shoot was all all night shoots as well. So it was sort of like, you know, like meet outside the front of the apartments and then sort of take a walk together to the set and then sort of, you know, sort of like the journey in which, you, you know, the journey that the movie takes, we were sort of like walking that every day to get to our dressing rooms and all that sort of stuff. So the set, like you said, you know, the set did become sort of like a second home for us because we, we spent, we just spent so much time there, even on the days that we, we weren't shooting. I mean, we, we filmed the whole, the, shot the whole movie in nine days, but even the, even sort of like the scenes that were, that, that I wasn't in um, more often than not, I'd be sort of hanging around to see, what else was going on and obviously it was in the middle of a pandemic as well like lockdown mm. that sort of stuff so we couldn't really even if we wanted to be anywhere else there wouldn't be anywhere open or we couldn't go and sit in a restaurant or anything you know so um yeah hanging around at the set and the and the, and the, the location where we filmed it was sort of just felt like the safest and best most enjoyable place to be yeah and tell me about uh the lure of angel you because he's a is a very as all the characters are very very unique and stuff did it feel like something you hadn't done before did it feel like it was not necessarily a challenge but it was it was something else to kind of dive into that maybe you you hadn't done before? yeah definitely i mean i mean the, the, the not only just the character not only the character but the, you know the entire movie was something that i felt just felt totally new and, and fresh to me it was nothing it didn't feel like it was anything i'd ever read before i didn't know didn't feel like it was anything i'd ever seen before um and obviously the character is it was a, a character that i'd never I never played before, you know. I never played anything like that character. So all of the, you know, all of the elements drew me to 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 Angel, um, and you know, just sort of just like the the whole like the wackiness of it all, you know, the sort of you know, not, like I said, not not quite knowing where to place it or whatever. So it's just, and I think, and I think that sort of lent, you know, that that sort of uncertainty of what you know what the movie was before we'd started rehearsing and all that sort of stuff. I think that lent itself well to the performances as well because no one really knows what's going on in the movie you don't know who's you don't know who's the murderer you don't know what's happened everyone all the characters are sort of on edge so I think not knowing quite you know where I was going with the whole with the whole performance or, or, the, or the, the story at the time was um yeah it was helpful in in, uh, in trying to bring that character to life yeah and how how are you enjoying things in terms of you as an actor now because you've got a few things brewing obviously you had Shadow, Shadow and Bone which may or may not be continuing we don't don't quite know yet but obviously yeah. i know you're doing the show with david tennant you're doing the yeah. Lord of the rings thing as well are you enjoying this moment to be able to kind of i am yeah move about I, and do different things yeah i am i am really really enjoying it it's um i had a, a really fun year last year sort of um you know a few a couple of really you know like, like passion projects of mine things that you know subjects that uh that felt quite close to my heart as well so it was um yeah, I am enjoying it. I am enjoying it. It's it's one of those things that you know, as uh, as actors and artists in general, it's just as human beings. I think there's there's a lot of um, there's a lot of there's a, there are a lot of moments where we don't quite know, you know, we're on tender hooks. So as soon as like, as soon as our our part is finished on a project, it's sort of out of our hands. It goes over to the editors, and it goes over to the to the to the marketers and the distribution and everything else. It's sort of totally out of our hands. And so when you know, like times like this where you get to you actually get to see people seeing the fruits of your labor. Um, it's nice. It's you know, it's always it's always interesting to see what the audiences think and and whatnot. So it's um, you know, just keep our fingers crossed that people continue to enjoy it. I guess. Yeah, and and do you know anything about the future of of said Netflix show? Because I know a lot of people online are, are kind of rumour milling. But again, you probably don't. You're probably the same as everybody else. I don't, don't know. Like, as soon as, as soon as our job, we don't get told any of this. We, you know, <laughs> that's, we sometimes we're like very bottom of the food chain. We're the last ones to know anything. So, um, but no, I honestly no, I don't know. <laughs> I haven't got a clue. I haven't got a clue. I'll oh, fingers crossed because uh, that seems that's quite a popular show. I have to say, it keeps all, on my it's on really Netflix, popular it's show, all those yeah. shows. It's always like recommend, yeah. recommend, recommend. So people seem to be getting quite a kick yeah. out. Yeah, I'm seeing a couple of the uh, a couple of the Shadow and Bone guys are coming to the um, coming to our screening tonight as my guests. So um, maybe they'll have a little bit of uh, inside info that I don't know about. Yeah, them. maybe so. Maybe uh, so. Even if they do, can't tell anyone about it. So of course you can't. Of course you can't. We're in the age that. of spoilers and all those things. Aren't <laughs> exactly. we, so. <laughs> uh, Luke, lovely to chat to you. Thank you, mate. Uh, thanks so much for your time, mate. And uh, good luck with as well for you. Thank you so much. Cheers, mate. Ladies and gentlemen, you're watching Hey You Guys. Hey, hey you guys. <laughs> hey you guys. <laughs> hey, that's what they all say. Hey you guys. Hey you guys.